Man, my hair is all va va moo. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily, I live in New York City, and I'm starting today's vlog off with a little bit of a hair tutorial kind of situation, or I'm just gonna do my hair basically right now. So, something I have really been loving are hot rollers. And I got these last December and I was using them for a while at the beginning of the year and then COVID happened and I just really wasn't doing my hair. And then I picked up doing this YouTube channel again and so now I'm doing my hair a lot more. And let me tell you, these babies are awesome. Um, when I got these last year, I just got the travel size because we live in New York City, we don't have a lot of space, and I also didn't know if I loved hot rollers just yet. So I just got a small size of travel hot rollers. There's only, I think there's like 10 in here um, from Amazon, and I wanna say they were pretty inexpensive. They were definitely under $20. I think I will go ahead and link them down below so you guys can get them. And if they don't have these anymore, then I will definitely link a similar one. They're from Remington and they're just a size of travel rollers. Um, so my hair is actually second day hair. I have very, very, very oily hair, the kind where you have to wash like almost every single day or it just looks really heavy. And um, even if I wash my hair before I go to bed, sometimes I'll wake up and my hair will just like not be cute and I'll have to wash it again. Um, so I actually woke up today and my hair wasn't so bad. Um, my favorite dry shampoo is this Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. And if you guys don't have this, it is a splurge. It's not like your basic six to $10 dry shampoo that you pick up at CVS or like Walgreens or Dwayne Reed. This is a splurge. This is like $30. I'll have it linked down below. You can grab it. But this also lasts me, this small bottle, I don't have the big size, I have the small size, lasts me for about a year which is incredible because one bottle of dry shampoo I can go through in like two weeks. So technically, if you're someone that always needs to have dry shampoo on hand, this is actually the cheaper option over a long period of time. So it's a little bit of a dry shampoo investment, but it has saved me a lot of money. Um, I used to really love the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo and um, I would buy that all the time. And so technically, like if you need dry shampoo like I do, then I would just get that one. So this also doubles as a volumizer. You can put some on your hands and then I kind of just like scrunch my curls. Um, when I'm doing curls that are in like the barrel, then I'll flip my head upside down and go like this with the powder but now you can just spray it on, spray it in. And I've teased my hair a little bit right at my root, but it's just amazing. It gives you so much crazy volume. Um, so basically all I need to do is like spray my hair and put it into place um, and like not make it look so crazy. Although I told you guys, I do love like a bedroom sultry, sexy kind of hair and makeup look, and so this is part of it. Um, I'm gonna take my engagement ring off while I spray my hair because I hate getting product in my ring. Um, so to just finish up my look, I'm gonna take this triple sec from the dry bar. I absolutely love every single dry bar product. I'm like, these are my ride or die. Dry bar and bumble and bumble. Um, so this is basically like a three-in-one formula that does texture, um, volume, and it's kind of like a dry shampoo too. So what I do is I just kind of lift my hair just for like a wind-blown kind of effect like that. We're going to put it into place in a second. Same thing on this side, just kind of. If you're like a girl that likes a lot of volume like me, 
stick around. <laughs> that's how, that's my new subscribe. Stick around. My hair got stuck in my lip gloss. Hold on, let me try again. Stick around. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're not a fan of this channel by now, I, I don't know what you're doing. I literally look insane. Okay, we gotta keep going with this. Um, okay, so now you're just gonna kinda give it a little floof. Make her all pretty. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for the hairspray. I don't like to put too, too much hairspray in my hair and I also like a very thin, fine hairspray. Um, this is the Money Maker from Dry Bar, surprise, surprise. And it's just like a flexible hold hairspray, like nothing crazy. I used to only do like a maximum hold hairspray, but I noticed that it weighed my hair down and it made my curls crunchy and like, that's not cute. So you just need something that's like a flexible hold. And look, the curls at the bottom are even starting to fall out. And that is still like a really cute look. So my hair usually holds curl, but only if I do like the hot barrel or um, like a hot barrel curling iron. Or if I leave my hair in the rollers for a longer time, I didn't leave them in for very long. Um, and so, but I still like love this result. <laughs> this is kind of what I was, right now I am getting ready to go meet my friend and also go make some returns. I need to go return those pants to Zara. And I also ended up, I bought an iPad recently and I ended up returning it because I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. And so, um, I also bought a little case to go with it from Amazon. So I just need to go to Whole Foods and make the Amazon return because you can return your Amazon products to some Whole Foods. I have a wedding update. Um, today has been just, I feel like I'm just hitting a wall with all of this like wedding planning stuff. It's been so hard during COVID just trying to, I don't know, like bring everybody together and really like start getting stuff accomplished. I feel like I'm so behind on everything and it's also really hard to plan a wedding when everything is kind of so, I don't know, like feeling super unsure in the future. and. Usually I'm a really positive person, but it has been like four months of <laughs> just craziness. So if you know a COVID bride, please give her a huge hug from you and from me because I don't wish this upon anybody planning a wedding during a pandemic. It's crazy. <sighs> so things could totally be worse and I know that but today has just been a little so <laughs> um but i am going to do some things to take my mind off of everything i was literally on the phone with my mom crying early that's just really sad because i want to start wedding dress shopping and it's hard to like corral everyone to be together and you also can't take a lot of people into the appointment with you. And I have like my mom and my future mother-in-law and I also have three sisters and like my friends. <laughs> but most importantly, like I couldn't even fit like the immediate family members that need to be in there for my appointment. So that's just like hitting me hard today. And I'm just like, oh. I'm battling right now with the timing because I know it takes like six to nine months to get a wedding dress created and shipped in and then it has to go into alterations um, and we're looking at a wedding date almost a year from now so I um, need to get a move on that. Um, what's also stressing me out is shipping with COVID. Everything is a little delayed right now so it could be a couple months delayed. Um, so now would kind of be the time that I would need to start looking. I've also never tried on a wedding dress and I'm not someone that has an exact vision of what I want. So I need to try stuff on and I need to start doing that soon. Um, but I just feel like such a huge part of that experience is having your loved ones with you. 
um, at least, you know, for the first time. I know I have a lot of trying on to do, so I may not find it right away. Things are just not going as I like imagined in my head, which is the part that really sucks. Um, so definitely we'll have a different experience in the wedding <laughs> process. That's what I am here for. I'm here to tell you guys about my life and the ups and the downs. And today is one of those days where it's kind of a downer day. Um, but with that being said, I am going out, doing a little retail therapy, my favorite thing in the world, <laughs> and um, meeting up with some friends later. So I think today's gonna turn around. I am looking through my closet right now, and I don't know what to wear because it's 37 degrees outside. 37, oh my God. Um. I think I'm gonna have to wear my heavy coat, my new one. It's so cute. It's black and heavy. And maybe, I'm trying to think, should I wear a hat? Should I wear boots? Should I wear sneakers? Probably sneakers, right? Okay, sneakers. I'm gonna do my Air Force Ones. I kind of want to do like a hoodie look, but. All right. I think I got it. All right, I'm doing some leather pants, um, just like leather, they're not jeans, but like leather skinny pants that I got from um, H&M last year. And then my Vetmont Tommy Hilfiger hoodie uh, fun fact, Justin Bieber actually has the exact same one uh, from a couple of years ago. There's like this famous picture of him and Haley walking down in, um, I think it's in Soho here in Manhattan, um, in this hoodie. I'll attach the picture here so you guys can see. Um, but I'm going to do this with, I think, my Air Force Ones. Hey, Calvin. You crashed in the... Uh, the outfit haul. So I am going to do this with my long black faux fur coat that I got from H&M this year. Um, everything will be linked down below um, if I can find like similar things or like the websites to the products. You guys can look and see what you like for yourselves there. Um, but I'm going to get dressed, go make my returns, and I am just waiting for my friend to text me and let me know when she leaves. I made it to the bookstore. Jess is here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. It's very cold outside. off last night I think we left off in the bookstore if I'm not mistaken all right I'm gonna put my hair up because we're getting ready to go work out because it's Thursday um, but anyway so yesterday I think I left the vlog off in the bookstore and um, I'm so sorry I didn't film anything else um, we just went to dinner and drinks at we went from a bookstore called the strand to a restaurant called the stand <laughs> and um we started off with some drinks and a cheese plate and then we decided to stay for dinner and there was a comedy show and they did not allow any filming in the restaurant or at the comedy show so i didn't take out my camera and then today I had a very, very, very busy work day. So I am literally now just picking up the camera at 6.30. <laughs> um, and we are going to go make some good things happen at the gym and end this day strong. I feel like I have zero energy. I am just tired. I don't know if it's the weather. 
I don't know if I just haven't been sleeping well. I don't know if I'm just tired from working out. <laughs> Um, but I have no energy right now, so this workout should be a lot of fun. Um, I think I am just going to stick to doing cardio today because we, um, did a lot of, like, strength training on Tuesday and I'm still very sore from it. I can't even, like, lift my arms. So, <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to go and do some nice cardio and some big stretching and um i guess like see how i feel and maybe i'll end it with some strength training but i'm just gonna listen to my body and move the way that it allows me and tells me that it's <laughs> okay hold on <laughs> <laughs> there it was. we're getting wild at the gym <laughs> i didn't think about the motion it's what not do you natural mean? for me. It's not natural for you? No, no. <laughs> We're stretching. <sighs> I'm not feeling it today, you guys, but I'm still here. That's what matters.